My name is Yasin Karasan. I am a physiotherapist in Beikant University Health Science Faculty. Thank you for the opportunity to present. And our present title, The Effect of Pelvic Floor Muscle Training Plus Connective Tissue Massage on Anxiety Level and Sexual Functions in Women with Overactive Bladder, a pilot study. We have no disclosures. Overactive bladder, a condition defined by the International Continental Society as the manifestation of urinary urgency usually accompanied by the frequency and nocturia, with or without urgency urinary incontinence, in the absence of urinary tract infection or other obvious pathology, detrimentally affects the psychological and sexual health of women and negatively affects quality of life. Although some theories, including myogenic, retrogenic, and supraspinal hypotheses are mentioned in the pathophysiology of overactive bladder, it is still not completely understood. Several other pathophysiological factors, such as affective disorders, sex hormone deficiency, and autonomic nervous system dysfunctions have also been implicated. According to the European Association of Urology, primary treatment for overactive bladder includes behavioral interventions and physiotherapy approaches such as pelvic floor muscle training and electric stimulation, being the most commonly used interventions. Connective tissue massage, one of physiotherapy approaches, is recommended to improve internal organ functions, balance autonomic nervous system dysfunction, and increase psychological well-being. Therefore, the aim of this study was to investigate the effect of pelvic floor muscle training combined with con connective tissue massage on anxiety level and sexual functions in women with overactive bladder. The pilot study included 18 women with overactive bladder. Inclusion criteria were being a woman with overactive bladder between the ages of 35 and 55 years and being a volunteer. Exclusion criteria were antenatal and postnatal women having symptoms of pure stress urinary incontinence, neurological disorder, a mental disorder that might hinder cooperation, acute infection or malignancy, and discontinuing the treatment. Demographic and physical characteristics were recorded. Pelvic floor muscle strength with perineometer, overactive symptoms with bladder diary and the overactive bladder questionnaire, sexual functions with male sexual function index, and included desire, arousal, lubrication, orgasm, satisfaction, pain, and female sexual function index total score. An anxiety level with the Spielberger State Rate Anxiety Inventory. All assessments were performed before the treatment and after the treatment. Treatment methods were pelvic floor muscle training and connective tissue massage. The pelvic floor muscle training was performed every day of the week for six weeks. It was conducted with a physiotherapist as a progressive home-based exercise program to increase muscle strength and endurance. Women kept an exercise diary. The physiotherapist regularly checked the diary one day per week. The connective tissue massage was applied three days a week for six weeks. The connective tissue massage started in the lumbosacral area and progressed to the lower thoracic area and the abdominal area and the anterior pelvic area according to the vascular response of the cutaneous tissue. For creating traction between the cutaneous tissues, the middle fingers of both hands were used during the connective tissue massage. Demography and physical characteristics of women with overactive bladder were shown in the table. Patients reported any adverse effects during the applications. After the treatment, the pelvic floor muscle stretched, average urination volume, desire, erosion, lubrication, satisfaction, pain, and female sexual function total scores increased. Average number of voids per day, average nocturia, average number of incontinence episodes, overactive bladder questionnaire, state anxiety scores decreased. Trait anxiety level and orgasm scores did not change in women with overactive bladder. It was seen that pelvic floor muscle strength increased, overactive bladder symptoms decreased, sexual functions improved, and state anxiety level decreased when pelvic floor muscle training and connective tissue massage were applied to women with overactive bladder. The pelvic floor muscle training in addition to connective tissue massage may be beneficial in improving the anxiety level and sexual function of women with overactive bladder. Clinics. The pelvic floor muscle training in addition to connective tissue massage could be a complementary and beneficial application for improving the anxiety level and the sexual function in the overactive bladder. Randomized control studies on this subject should be conducted in the future.